Riding on the success of Chandrayaan 3, ISRO has successfully launched Aditya L1 mission. And uh, joining me here today on this uh, important day, uh, Professor Jagdev Singh, who has worked as a principal investigator of the Aditya L1 mission. Sir, how was it working on this uh, mission personally for you? Uh, and what was your role? It has been a great uh, experience to work on this thing. Uh, I conceived this project, uh, VLC, Invisible Emission in Kanuga, after making the observations during the total solar eclipses and uh, making with the chronograph instrument in Japan. So I realized that we need 24 of hours of observation per day and this around the clock, that means 365 days a year. So monitoring of the sun is very, very important because it affects the uh, uh, affect Earth's atmosphere and uh, it affects the Earth, life on Earth also indirectly. Uh, because there are a lot of explosions occurring on the Sun, uh, during that a lot of coronal mass ejection takes place, a lot of plasma is ejected, millions of tons of plasma is ejected uh, along with the high energy particles which ionizes the Earth's atmosphere and that can affect the um, various installations on the earth so that way it is very important and so far the data what has been taken has been taken with a large interval by european and american satellites experiment but we will be taking at a less interval we will be taking one image per minute kind of a thing etc and we will be doing spectroscopy and imaging simultaneously so that way it is important, we will uh, accurate, uh, know what are the conditions in the solar atmosphere and uh, what it uh, has effect on the Earth's atmosphere. We will be able to study with it. And also, sir, uh, a successful launch. So how long will it take for it to reach the L1 orb orbit, sir, from you know, Earth's orbit to the solar orbit? And, uh, it will take about 125 days to reach L1 point. Mm -hmm. uh, it will not uh, go exactly L1 point, it will evolve around the L1 orbit, it will L1 point, and it will make a orbit, elliptical orbit, which major axis will be 6 lakh kilometers, minor axis is around to, uh, 2 lakh kilometers. So uh, it will take one revolution, 178 days kind of thing, around the L1 point. So L1 point is 150 million, uh, 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth, that means 15 lakh kilometers from the Earth. So it will take uh, 125 days. And after it reaches, about a month later, we'll be starting getting the data. But some of the instruments like magnetometer, extra will send the data after one month or so. We, they will send the data on the way to l And what crucial observations could we expect from this space observatory, sir? And how will it be useful for the space science? Uh, uh, space science we means some of the unexplored things. We don't know what, how the plasma in this outer atmosphere of the sun gets heated up, uh, with what velocity it is moving. So we will try to understand, once we have a 24 hour observation, continuous observation, emission line, spectroscopy, and the imaging in the continuum. So we will accurately understand what are the physical and dynamical conditions in the solar atmosphere, and how, uh, it is very complex to understand. So far, since if you take the data at a longer interval, you don't understand that. So we will be taking data at a shorter interval, so we will understand it. And then uh, it will, uh, models will improve, exactly solar models and other things, etc. That will improve. What exactly is happening on the sun, how the plasma is heated in the atmosphere, we will know about that. And also, sir, I have another interesting question, sir, an important question as well. How this information will be crucial and beneficial for the next upcoming Gaganyaan mission? Uh, you see, Gag what happens is, it is not only this information. Uh, you study from the launch, okay? F first, you launch with Chandrayaan. First, you launch lower Earth orbit, then Chandrayaan, then L1. Okay, the technology of launching itself is improving. They are becoming more certain about the launch, whatever the, uh, they are learning more about it. So launch is being improving, technology is improving. And uh, you need the technology development for the Gaganyaan. Okay, so they can think more about it. 
they, from this launch they learn about that. So that will improve their launch. And the industry also will improve. Industry is also helping for the launch. They are taking, now Indian industry is taking part, making parts of the launch, taking, taking, um, making parts of the instruments and other things. Since industry improves, the economy improves. So it is overall growth of India which will take place from this mission. And how was it for you to work on this such important mission, sir? Uh, you see, yeah, I conceived this project. So I'm happy that I continue to work for a long, long about 15 years on this project. So it gives me a great experience and it looks like a, it, a dream coming true. In the beginning, I thought it is just a dream. Well, that time I did not really realize that will become true in my lifetime. So it has become true in my lifetime. I'm great. I'm, great. I'm feeling very happy uh, about the launch. Of this. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. So that's uh, Professor Jagdev Singh, the principal investigator of the Aditya L1 mission, speaking to CNN News 18, explaining all the crucial information, how this crucial information will be beneficial for the upcoming space project.